I'm going to be installing in my house what is called an attic fan or a ventilator and it comes with a Lubrid set. Now you get these from Northern Tool or you can buy them from eBay or Amazon. This unit right here was only $137 delivered. It's a 24 inch span right there. All right, it uses right at a half of a horse motor and you know, typical Chinese motor. It's two speeds, and sorry about that thing trying to focus itself. Um, 1,525 RPMs and slow speed, I believe, is 800 RPMs and six amps. So now the good thing, the good thing about this is that what I learned is that these will run fairly well and keep themselves really cool because they're in the airstream off of a modified sine wave inverter. Now if you have a good quality modified sine wave inverter like the Peak um, 2000 or 3000 watt inverters, these will work pretty good. I would suggest it has a pretty good size capacitor, start capacitor over here to get the load up. Um, I'd suggest, one, never start on low speed because that pulls a ton of amps. Believe it or not, the low speed start is a ton of amps. The high speed start is actually less amps, gets underway sooner. The thing is about these is that you're going to need, it's 370 running watts, okay? So it's nine times is the maximum peak on that. That's, that's for this motor if you just read the specs. That's because of the capacitor on it. So um, the start on this is roughly about 3200 watts, but it'll only, the start will only last for about a half a second and it'll calm down to about 1500 watts for the next four or five seconds and then level out at about under 400 watts. Now, installing this, um, this with the automatic loopers, this whole unit, like I said, 130 bucks, we're going to take this and we're going to cut it in. Uh, this looks a little crazy, but this is how they ship it. This motor is turned upside down so it could be shipped. See the cardboard in there? And you take the bolts out and the motor will flip over, wiring and all. Now, the smart thing to do is you see this outside lip where it's built up right here? and you're wanting to make sure your house insulation is still high as you can get it if it's blown in. The smart thing to do is go get you a roll of flashing and run that flashing up about, get you a roll like 10 inch flashing and just roll it through here and where it comes in and hits these angles right here, you're gonna notch it so it'll come up and notch it around it. That way you can build your stuff up. You can even put a little piece of sheet across that and you can build your insulation levels back up around it. The second thing is, is this is just metal so when you install it, make you a small insulated panel and install magnets in your insulated panel, epoxy or screw them in and with a foam ring and you'll be able to insulate sticking on there in the wintertime. And that way you don't have to worry too much about air loss from your heating unit. So let's get this underway. I have found a hole in the ceiling near a joist, got up in there, poked down, and then I started my measurements, which in this case are 20, uh, the measurements here are 26 by 28 and that's what we're working with let's get this cut out all right guys now what I've done is I've got and cut the hole out you can see large hole right here in my uh, hallway before my kitchen and I'm putting cross pieces in these are the cross pieces that are going to go across and the fan body will mount on them uh, going all the way around any of these voids I will fill up as you can tell this house has the old wax wood Insulation filler and then I blew in another foot on top of that years ago um, This has a wire going through it as you can see from the framing it has a wire going through it However, that's not going to matter. I'm just going to caulk the hole where the wire goes through there and Seal it all up and then notch this and there'll be filler filler wood that will go They'll be filler wood that'll go in here and it'll be notched for the wire and filled full of silicone. Nice and dressed, you'll see the end product here. And um, this is easy to do. You can do all these in your house for under 150 bucks. Save you a lot of energy too. All right, now the frame part is all done. I had to take the fan apart, completely apart, every part of it, uh, to get it up inside. And as you can see how the wire was dealt with, wood was notched boxed sealed off and now i'm going to be caulking all of this and there's where the wire goes through the other side and this allows me a complete sealed off when i caulk it allow it to dry a complete sealed off uh, area 
the zone and these louvers are going to have a cover on them and there'll be a sheet metal ring around this to raise that up outside so I can bring the insulation tight to it. So, all right, that just keeps condensation down by putting it up against it. All right. All right now with it framed in and finally put with some straps on it. See, I use straps, see a little strap right in there. I have a bunch of those going around inside. And if you put your screw at an angle, it'll suck it tight against your framing on a bead of caulk and it seals it, makes it quiet. All my louvers are ready to go. Wired up right here with a switch. Let's see if she works. Very nice. Can you hear that volume? That's about as loud as it gets. That is the unit. Fan blades are right at about 10 inches above the edge of this. It creates a really nice vacuum pocket. And when you shut it off, they drop. See this? Nice, huh? All right, guys. Get you one of these attic fans. They'll run on a modified. That's running on a modified. Uh, 3,000 watt peak kicked on, didn't beep the thing, even though it's got another load on it. And get you one. I'll put you a link in there where I got this one dirt cheap.